Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your what's cracking reading. I'm just trying to get in the right position for you guys. <laughs> it's really so different setting up in someone else's house. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm so sorry that I got didn't get around to do the weekly videos next week, but um, I'll try and do something for this weekend, although I am going to be still very busy with the whole moving process. Um, I don't know that there's much else at the moment. I haven't sorted out some dates for some Facebook Lives, but we'll definitely get a couple of those in soon. Ooh. There's a water sign around you that has uh, who's got a lot of worry on their plate. So if there's a water sign watching, you've got a bit of a, um, a stressful time coming up here where you're trying to escape from something. But I want to say to you, there is help coming in for you so whoever you are could have a water sign coming out of prison here too okay let's see how we go for today so today is friday this week we this will be the weekend reading for the 17th 18th and 19th of january and i have the lovers card coming out first Okay, so some of you could be dealing with Geminis, some of you could have huge decisions to make, especially around relationships. For some of you, this is love coming in. Um, so let's just have a look. Oh, Ten of Pentacles behind that. Okay, so whatever this is doing is bringing in some sort of abundance. You could be falling in love. You could be making a decision about something that's going to take you towards your own abundance. Um, but definitely something beautiful coming from this look at the temperance card behind that very nice so for some of you this is definitely bringing some sort of balance in with a um, earth sign capricorn taurus virgo now i know that i use the signs for the cards that's for the people who follow the signs to be honest with you what you're looking at here can be um my representation of a husband or a partner it's someone who's very stable who's a good provider um who's very strategic um you know, kind, uh, very orderly, probably a little bit focused on their money, but that's because they're a provider. You could have the magician coming in here. So for some of you here, this is about some sort of relationship, some sort of situation with somebody that is coming full circle and is bringing in balance and abundance here. Very nice little reading for the weekend. Okay, so first off, I have the Ace of Wands coming out. So the Ace of Wands says there's a new start coming. Um, this is something you're going to be very passionate about. Sometimes the uh, Wands can be sort of very sexual because they are fiery, passionate energy. So you could have a brand new relationship starting out here that is very fiery and passionate. Um, but something brand new starting. It doesn't always have to be a relationship, but it's something that you feel really driven towards. Very driven towards. Okay, and then we have the star card. Now, the star card is the card of destiny. It's the card of things all falling on your path at the right time. So the star is about healing and it's about truth and faith. So it's all the things we need to do to believe that things are coming our way. But essentially, it's our dreams coming true and it's on our way here. We do have the Three of Cups coming in. So there is a big celebration. So I don't know what's going on for some of you. Maybe it's, um, you know, with those cards up front, it could be about proposals. It could be about new starts with people. Um, but definitely something coming in here that's going to be life-changing. Something really beautiful that you're going to want to celebrate. But also something you've either wished for or knew was coming your way. Okay, so there's the closing out of some sort of cycle here. So if it was a relationship, the cycle closing could be for going from single to being partnered. But we'll keep going. <laughs> the dog's outside the door sniffing because he can hear me. Um, the full card is here. So we're taking a leap of faith on something as well. Letting go of things that are holding us back. Oh, and then we have the Emperor coming in. So for some of you, this is about your divine counterpart. This is the person that you are meant to travel the road with. 
For others of you, this could be um, a job offer from someone who has very high standing in the community, um, someone who's very um, highly respected. You could be building a partnership with someone here, someone that you've wanted to work with. So you may have someone who is held in high esteem, who's going to offer you an opportunity to work with them. So if you've got that situation there, that is on its way to you. Whatever it is, a great cause for celebration, but also a releasing of worry and tension and fear. Okay, we do have the death card coming in here as well. So there's some sort of tra transformative energy here. Oh, and the Eight of Wands, something moving very, very quickly. And we always say very, very quickly. There are a lot of major arcanas here um, and aces. So again, quite substantial energy coming through. I do have the moon. So because the water sign jumped out in the beginning, this does represent Cancer and Pisces. And I do have Scorpio here. So very, very strong water energy. Sagittarius here as well. And Aries. Um, let me just get right into this because I feel like there's plenty of messages coming through. Some sort of relationship, union, uh, decision to make here. And Gemini, of course, being the represented star sign here. Something that's going to bring in abundance here. We also have temperance here, which is Sagittarius. A lot of major arcana that's coming through. And the King of Pentacles. There appears to be... Some sort of coming together um, of two people. Now, for some of you, this could be about relationship because I do have the Three of Cups here and I do have um, the Queen of Swords, which has two people in the window there, which also makes me think that for some of you, this could be about someone moving towards you who's made a choice, made the choice to be with you. Um, but whatever it is here, it's bringing in a lot of abundance. The time's right now. So the, the two cards of timing here as well. So it's like timing is on your side as well. This is divine. Okay, let's rip this one apart. So a few different scenarios here. But basically we have a decision to be made around a relationship. Now for some of you, I have no doubt this is something more committed something that's moving to marriage um, or union here that's going to take some sort of leap of faith because there's a letting go and then a jumping. So it's sort of like you are just starting to doubt things and then you go, you know what, I'm just going to take a chance on this person. I feel like this person um, has strong, very strong, earthy um, attributes. So they could come across as an earth sign, which means they could be very practical and very... Um, direct about what they want here so they could be very um, uh, straight off the mark like with no beating around the bush here they're going to really let you know how they feel um, and there is this leap of faith towards something now there are things here that have to be revealed so there's some um, there are some things here that have to be revealed if you're dealing with a third party relationship I feel that your person has decided to come towards you, but maybe they haven't made the jump yet, but it's in process. So finally, they've sort of started making some um, changes towards that. But I think this is real. So it could be that they've left physically, but they've still got all of the, um, the baggage to clean up, the financial stuff to clean up, that type of thing. That's for some of you here. For others of you here, this is about somebody... Um, disclosing to you perhaps how they feel um, for others of you it may be a disclosure of um, other things that have held them back from this relationship that they are now letting go of so somebody's letting go of responsibilities to move towards you and you're going to take a leap of faith and it's sort of this feeling that once the leap of faith is taken that things will move very very quickly there's a lot of celebration here a lot of abundance a lot of happiness and it is something that's on your path. I have a lot of cards of timing here um, that things had to wait till now. They couldn't go any quick, quicker than they have. So just rest assured the time's right now. Now, for others of you here, this could be about a partnership that you're going to have with someone. Maybe you wanted to sort of um, have a, a 
partnership with someone who is a manager or who is going to further your career here. I don't feel like it's necessarily about work, but I feel like there's some sort of contracted agreement that's going forward here where somebody's deciding to work in partnership with you. So it could be that someone's recognised your skills. It could be that someone has seen um, your value here and is promoting you or uh, backing you up to do something new. I've got a very strong art feeling here. So for some of you, it may be someone who deals in artwork or has a very knowledge, good knowledge of artwork, but it may be sort of to do with craft too. So it could be, you know, like cooking or something. Somebody has got an opportunity. Maybe you've got an opportunity to go on some sort of cooking show, but there's definitely a partnership here where someone has recognised your skills and is moving you forward. There's very fast movement here, but there's also a lot of stuff that still has not to be that's still to be revealed. So sort of sitting in the background here. Um, it, when I say secrets, often we think of, you know, people keeping secrets from us, but it's not those sort of secrets. It's things to be revealed. So it could be, you know, truths to be revealed. It could be that the situation's still in flux and you need to have more information, but there's something still to be um, revealed about this situation because there's some sort of cycle closing out here. Um and letting go of um, fear or letting go of old old um, beliefs or old old um, ideas about how something should be done. So this may be being done in a very non-traditional way. Um, it may not have come up, come out the way you expected it to move forward here. Okay. Oh, how interesting. We have the card of co-create coming out here. So this is about creating with the universe. So when I say to you, this is divine timing and you, you know, it's coming along now because this is the right time. This is because the universe has stepped in somewhere here. So I'm going to read it for you. This is about creativity, art, inspiration, fruition and manifestation. How funny that it's creativity and art after saying I feel like some of you have got some sort of art project going on here that's being finally recognised. Could be that you're hitting the media too, like you may have an opportunity to work with media, but there's some sort of contract coming in for some of you here that's taking you to new heights, someone who's recognised your talents or skills. So it says here, you may not consider yourself a creative person, but in fact, you're creating your reality every moment of every day via your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, intentions and actions. Yet you must consider that you do so in partnership with spirit, consciousness, God or whatever name you call your higher power. You are a spark of this intelligence that works through you, nudging you with inspired thought and intuitive guidance. You are a paintbrush that co-creates a beautiful, unique expression of your own individuality blended with universal spirit. You are a product of divine inspiration and now you're aligned with it to create miracles. When you view your life as art and know you co-create only beauty and grace result, prepared to be amazed. So something huge is about to go down here. So I'll leave that with you. Have a wonderful weekend.